covered uh, a lot of them. Uh, just quickly, do you wash your microgreens and do you add a paper towel into the packages? No and no. So you never need to wash. No, they said they never need to. If you, here it comes down to, if you're using good seed, good medium, growing indoors, you're not adding stuff to your crop, then there's no need to. Uh, on a compliance sake, and this obviously completely varies, continent, country, states, whatever. Typically, when you wash your greens, you fall into a completely different regulation for compliance. You become, most places, like a manufacturing production facility because you're yeah. altering the green actually by washing it. In theory, so you should never have to wash, okay? Now, the exceptions are your field farming or outdoor farming, if you're getting the bugs, but then you probably need to follow, you know, up with further health restrictions or compliance sake, mm -hmm. whatever it might be pertaining to your area. But no, there's no need to ever wash because uh, there shouldn't be anything on your greens, right? But uh, saying that, your crops also have to be 100% dry before packaging. Never have wet crops go in. It diminishes shelf life. Condensation, guys, is inevitable. You put it in a fridge, it's going from a 74-degree farm to a 38-degree fridge. It's going to happen. You don't need moisture pads. You don't need paper towels, providing you have the proper containers. Most people put an ounce of product into a container that could fit four ounces or whatever, right? This is why I don't use clamshells. My containers all have a lid that recesses into the actual base. So my products fit comfortably in each container. So very little negative space, negative airflow. So I get the little condensation, but I'm not getting like these massive water droplets. If you have this, you know, an inch of air, that's going to cool and yeah, real condense cool. down. My product literally touches all four walls and the lid. So we're good to go. But it's, it's better to fill the container and the lid. No. Much better shelf life long-term. Um, it's very intentional. Mm -hmm. So the container size that we choose, the amount we put in it is very intentional to allow for this. So my condensation probably dissipates within 24 hours. So within 12, 24, it's gone because it just gets absorbed back into the crop because my crop's also dry, right? This is why if it goes in wet and you have condensation, it's just propelling the, the problem. Okay, do you pre-refrigerate before you package or do you package directly from harvest? And the sunflower, do you have any issues? Do you have to wash to get rid of those? So no, everything is literally direct from harvest to container lid label fridge it's kind of our process so uh, there are places obviously like i've heard and i'm sure it's better i've never tested it you know people have cooling rooms they literally harvest in the same temperature room a that's bloody cold or not but it is it probably you know that would mitigate condensation that's where a lot of people do do that but those farms are very high production farms pumping it out you know 